We have just seen rushes direct from Hollywood of pictures being released in the coming weeks. And we are proud to announce that this theater will soon bring you the greatest array of pictures ever to reach our screen. You will see the finest stars in exciting performances. You will thrill to the suspense, comedy, romance, and drama of world-famous stories. Here's a glimpse of a few of them coming to this theater soon. It's okay, though, when he screws up, it doesn't screw anything else up. Well, that's good. I at least still have three dice to get this done. Let's see if they come up anything. Leonard, well, say something useless. And, and I go, and I go, don't you kids, don't you kids like to hang out and get, like, root beer floats or something? Or go buy some popcorn and go to the movie theaters or something? Man, Maybe you were so there. past the time. You know, back oh, in my day, we used to go down to the VMA and have our dances down there. Whatever happened to that? <laughs> That's just for so old people. You, while the two of you are driving by the side of the road, uh, you kind of pull over and stop the car and you say, wait, did I just see something over there? But then when you try to look for it, what happens but another car rear ends you? God damn it. And starts accelerating you down the highway. It is a large what the, van. What the hell? It's being driven by a small figure. A mouse. <sighs> Gail. Okay. Yeah. I, I have absolutely no driver's seat. Get out of the skills, driver's so. seat, Leonard. Get out. Uh, all right. I, 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 I. I I, I actually assumed uh, I assumed he was driving the whole time. Actually. Oh, okay. Well, I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll Leonard's I'll the past smoking. Yeah, smoking my <laughs> smoking cigarette, my cigarette <laughs> making stupid <laughs> comments about kids. <laughs> yep. But now Guile has got you uh, is pushing your car along, accelerating. Are you going to try and break away? Or are you going to leave your car and jump on his car? Or are you going to do something else? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to break away because I should actually be really good at that. I need you to make a roll of speed and transport. Oh boy. Uh, what about evasion? Nope, speed and transport. Okay. But you got well, 12 because you know how to drive a car. Yep, that's right. Hey, that looks really good. All right. You managed to break away with two successes. Are you going to uh, leave Guile in the dust? Since you're in a hot rod and he's in a van? Uh, we gotta go back there, though. Uh, Leonard, you take the wheel, and I'm going to do a stunt. I'm going to fly on top of his truck. Um, okay, uh, Leonard, you take the wheel. I need you to make roll speed and transport. He should have enough time. I just need one second. Meanwhile, I need, uh, um, uh, Spar here to make a roll of body and athletics. <laughs> I and he crashes was, my car. I, 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 I was like, how did you think that was going to go? <laughs> okay. Hilariously so, is what. You crash the car. I need you to make a soak roll, which is your body and endurance. And you get to throw in uh, your transport dice, which you don't have. It is a four-point hit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I do soak wow. two of it. You soak two of it. There's two points left. Do you want to tap Panic Soak or some other soak? Uh, panic soak. Hurt panic soak. soak. Hurt Soak is three, right? So the, right. I mean, Hurt Soak is three. Panic Soak is two, and it comes back. Uh, oh, that's right. I, everyone gets Panic Soak, right? Everyone gets Panic Soak. My bad. Then I'll take the Panic Soak. Right. So so you crash and freak out. Yes. So you're, you're basically out of the scene because you crash the car and you're too panicked to come back. No problem. Ah, what, the, what do you think? Uh, or, or, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Immediately fears off-road crashes. We're supposed to be going to a concert. You know, in hindsight, maybe this wasn't the brightest idea, but I'm just a foolish teenager. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, cars are mobilized. Um... Uh, so, um, yeah, so you jump on, uh, how many, so you had two successes? Uh, okay, do you, I had three so successes you, for driving, but I haven't rolled anything to jump yet. Oh, go ahead and roll to. that body and athletics roll. Okay. 1d4, we got, uh, athletics, and we also have more athletics. Ooh, wow. Nothing, actually. Uh, you will fly to try and land on the car uh, and hit your head. 
taking a whopping three points of damage. I need you to soak that. Okay. I'm you may roll your body and endurance. I only got the body. I do soak it by one. It's uh, two points left. Yep, two points left. Uh, I could tap hurt so, so that I'm not panicked and I continue on, or I could just tap panic. <laughs> Uh, you or know what, this it. is what hurts for. I'll tap hurt. You'll tap. Ooh, ugh. So you land on the, um, the hood of the car. Uh, and ta- and ta- sorry. Guile says, ah, ah, I'll show you, you so-and-so. And pulls out his switchblade. Oh, no. And dabs at you. <laughs> I need you to make a roll of speed and evasion. All capped by nothing because you're a motorist. Yes. Fighting on top of a car. This is the scene that uh, that I missed the solo for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have another evasion because I am a motorist. That's right. All everything gives me evasion here, and yeah. everything rolls. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say evasion, dodging. Uh, you can say evasion versus melee. Okay, versus melee. Because you don't get it versus range. So go ahead and re-roll uh, one of those eights. No! <laughs> you are still oh, stabbed. I can. You... I'm still lucky. <laughs> uh, okay, I can so re-roll we're... a die. Uh, actually, luck lets you pick which dice you want to re-roll, right? That's right. I can even re-roll his. Uh, well, you want me to re-roll the d6. I do, but I still would need you to roll lower than a two. <laughs> Well, no, you want me, you, you get to pick more than one die to re-roll. I believe it's pick which dice to re-roll and we re-roll them, right? Uh, good question. Let me go ahead and double check. That is on page yeah, 56. Yep. L- L- luck is pick which dice you want re-rolled and then we re-roll them. Okay, well, yeah, I could just re-roll the whole thing, huh? Uh, let's see. Yeah, re-roll any and all dice. So I'm going to re-roll my six because that's maxed out. I assume you're going to re-roll everything. Yes, because there's no reason I should fail this. Okay, so I have so I botch. <laughs> so I'm going to fall out of the van. Uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll slip into the van. Uh, well, no, you're not just going to slip into the van. You're going to make a roll of body and athletics to slip into the van. Oh boy. The van... Well, I can't possibly fail it a second time hilariously. <laughs> that was a good use of luck. It definitely was. There we go. At least one success. Uh, at least one success. One success will get you into the car, but the car is currently out of control. Unfortunately, now you do get speed and transport, but you don't get your bonus D12. Because this is a van and not a not a car. Gotcha. So, so I'm, uh, I'm living on two dice then. Yep. Ah, I had more ones. Ah, I do not uh, get it under control. Yes. So the van will veer off of the road. You get to make a roll of body uh, endurance and use your transport dice as extra soak dice. Uh, it is a three-point hit when the van veers off the road. All right, so I have no endurance. I need to soak at least one here. <laughs> I don't. I only have my panic soak left. I am out. So the van careers off the road, and you are knocked cold. Leaving Leonard to pick up the pieces as two teens are now unconscious on the roadside. Uh, well, we don't know what happened to Guile after he fell out. That's so, true, Leonard, uh, you recover, you see them drive off down the road, then you hear a crashing noise. Okay, how's my kid doing? Uh, how's who doing? How's my kid doing? Well, you don't know, because they drove uh, quite a distance away into the night. I run after them. <laughs> All right, uh, running after someone will be a role of speed and athletics. Speed and athletics. I think you get athletics because you're a um fair well, you guys are just uh, no. well, <laughs> RMG is just not like me today. Um yeah, everybody is um is just screwing up today. Okay, hold on, I gotta do All right. So you wander off after them. Uh and uh you, you oh my god, I don't know if my kid's okay. Uh, 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 
uh, the stagehands are off, off screen, smacking branches in your face to make it look like you're running through woods, even though you're running in place. So it looks they're, really. They're all, they're all enjoying smacking me in the face with the branches. I'm like, oh my god, really, really, guys, really? Do you guys really have to smack me that hard? I thought it was supposed to be make believe. Oh no, no, it, it's definitely awesome. doing it on purpose. I hit him harder, man. <laughs> it's called method acting. Get used to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, where Leonard, where you're going through the woods uh, and running after him, when suddenly <coughs> something in your path, it is a strange gelatinous creature. Uh, and it has eyes on stalks. It's a giant slug. Ha <laughs> ha, I didn't tell you guys this was actually a horror movie. Oh, no. Really? I kind of inferred from the freaking, it came from the drive-in. <laughs> Um, I need you to make a roll of speed innovation, Leonard, as it lunges at you. I love that this horror movie just has a whole first half that's just like the happiest movie ever. <laughs> it's perfect. It's a perfect C-rated movie. Like, we literally, like, we started off with we a We started musical. one genre, we end in the next. Well, there's already, there's, there's already horror scenes that have happened, because you guys, hey, Rex is missing. So. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a uh, So I need you to make a roll of speed and evasion, Leonard. Uh, I don't think you're a non-combatant, so uh, nobody picked that. <laughs> well, since you said band and tour and singing, we were just like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we fooled the right. audience. Have you made the roll yet, Leonard? Or oh, what do you need me to roll? Am I, am speed and evasion. evasion. You're being attacked by a slug monster. All right, I have a four, and you have a six. It lunges at you, and you dodge. What the hell? Well, of course, I'm a ferret. Um, so, uh, confronted with the slug monster, do you want to run away? Do you want to engage it? Do you want to talk to it? What do you want to do? No, I'm here to look for my kid. I also have a gift called Contortionist. Yes, if the slug actually captures you, that gives uh, Contortionist gives you a bonus to evade the slug. Would you like to run away from the slug? Yes. Also, just I so know. I just so I know, what does coward do? Uh, coward is while you are panicked, you get an extra D twelve to all defense rolls and runaway rolls. Well, I am still panicked, aren't I? Uh, that means you get an extra D twelve. So go ahead and roll body and athletics with a bonus D twelve because you're a coward, and a bonus D twelve because you are a contortionist. Uh, the other benefit of uh, yeah, get, get, uh, are you a non combatant? I don't think you have the gift no. of non combatant. Okay, know. Wow. yeah, okay. Oh, coward is a bonus is a bonus D twelve whenever you're afraid. It has two abilities. You get an extra D twelve whenever you're afraid, and you can become afraid at the drop of a hat. Gotcha. You can just uh, say I'm afraid. But I don't have the gift of dunk of that, so it doesn't okay. matter. Okay. Well, okay. And that's a mm -hmm. nine and a four. Yeah, you... Ah! Like, I, wait, I gotta go see my kid! Ah, I'm just run away. And like, a, and, and, like a, and like a wily ferret that I am, I managed to squirm away from the slug and dart off into the night. The slug monster pursues you at a slug-like pace. pace. <laughs> and I'm just like, like a ferret, just do one hop as he moves, and I'm like looking at him like, what the hell? I'm like whatever. I need to as find some kids. Closer, I need to find some kids. <laughs> as you get closer to the unconscious body uh, of poor James, who is slumped in the van, uh, you see on uh, you see a different slug monster because it can't be the same one. I mean, it looks identical because we only have one slug outfit we use for close-ups, but it's a different one. Trust me on this. Uh, uh -huh. Slowly approaching the van. What are you going to do? Okay, since I'm still panicked, and now I see two of these, and I'm just like, what the hell? I, I'm just going to... Want... Oh, go ahead. I, I basically just, just make a beeline for the kid, grab him, and then just... You make a beeline for the kid and grab him. I need a roll of body and athletics. You don't get coward for this. It would be cowardly if you ran away. Okay. Uh, do I still get contortionist, though? Uh, no, because he, uh, you're a contor contortionist. I mean, you would be easy to pull out. Ah. But you're like going, oh my god, this kid's just so big and he's bigger and fatter than he looks. This isn't all feathers. What kind of freaking... Like, what do they feed you? Have you used whole, your personality yet? Whole grain? Do you want yeah, to? Yeah, I haven't used your personality yet, Leonard. What's your personality? 
Uh, da, 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 da. What would be the first or is James going to be the first on-screen victim? Uh, n- n- now's when you write down the word slippery and roll again. <laughs> I guess I am slippery. Yes, Go ahead I am. Roll I a am. bonus d12. Tap that and roll a bonus d12. Let's see that one. I got. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead. That's more. Everything is just get the eight. Yeah. So yeah. So you'll drag your friend, uh, unconscious person. I need you to make a roll of will and endurance because this is a movie. Oh boy. Well, as everyone knows, after a car accident, you grab people and move them around a lot. Exactly. Well, I roll a two, so you're still unconscious. Yup. Um. So um. As I as okay. I as I as I roughly fireman carry him out, out of the way, like damn, we're in a tight spot. Uh, well, you're I assume you're going to try and carry him to safety. So now I would ask for a roll of body and athletics, and now I'll give you the bonus d12 for coward because you are fleeing the scene, but not for contortionist. No, no not for contortionist. Contortionist would help you because you're a ferret, so you can do ferret wiggly stuff. But he, you, you've got him. He's a load. Two successes, two fives. Okay, so you managed to run away carrying this bird guy with you. Jesus Christ, what are, what are you, a turkey? I thought you were like a sparrow. <laughs> and you will run. Uh, uh, yeah, so you will run back to the highway. Uh, when you are on the, on the highway, I guess you'll flag down. You'll eventually see a motorist. So I guess you'll flag down the next motorist. Yes. Okay. It's uh, there's a motor in a delivery truck because it's late at night. So he's de- doing a deadhead delivery. Listen, hey, listen, you shouldn't be running the road like that. We haven't invented listen, those big lights that are everywhere, and I don't have high beams. I could have run you over. Listen, listen. We ain't got time for that. You need to drive me straight to the sheriff's office. Okay. Are you kids all right? As you are kids and indeed teenagers. There you go. We most certainly aren't all right. You definitely don't want to be stopping here. Let's just go, 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 go. I, I literally like unceremoniously plop him in like, on top of whatever yep. he's delivering and get in the driver's seat and close the door. Like, just go, go. Don't stop. Well, Keep moving. He only took one tick over uh, his maximum. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, by the time you get to the police uh, uh, station in downtown Flugerberg, um. Normally, there would be, be have different people on staff, but we only have Officer no- Officer Noax, our only actor who fits into the police uniform, <laughs> and who is also a badger to seal the uh, relationship. Um, right. So I guess we'll just jump cut to where uh, um, uh, we'll go ahead and put a token bandage uh, on James. There you go. Uh, to show that he was in a car accident. It's a concussion. It's the fifties. Just walk it off. Of course. <laughs> no no lingering problems at all. It's like, what were the two of you doing out there on the highway at night? Isn't it, Pat? It's a, uh, it's a school night. I, I know, right. but I, I was afraid for one of my classmates, Rex. He, he went missing, and so I, I thought uh, we'd, we'd go and try to look for him. Maybe he was out where uh, all the kids are, but... Uh, uh, Guile, he was out there. I think he wanted revenge. Not sure listen, what happened to him. Everything's a blur. Listen, you teenagers all hopped up on your malt shop and goofballs. You shouldn't be out this late at night. It'll stunt your growth. And uh, and you, Leonard, you should know better than this. Listen, I was just, I was just, I was just protecting my business investment, man. Like these two kids work for me. He tells me the other one just ran off and disappeared. And dogs are this Rex is vanishing, and people's girlfriends are disappearing. He goes, I don't know what's going on. I just want to make sure these kids make it to the next tour date. Well, we'll go ahead and send a car out there. By the way, I think it is hilarious that you guys haven't mentioned there were monsters at all. I haven't seen them. <laughs> you haven't seen them. He hasn't seen them. And I'm just straight up just like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I just I just want to manage the boy band. It's the exact <laughs> opposite of these movies where the teenagers bring up like, hey, I saw some monsters. And they <laughs> don't believe it. Like, you guys don't even bring it up. <laughs> We still got to be at the plan, you know. We'll, we'll play for the aliens here, but. 
Well, no, no, that's where I'm at the sheriff's office, and I'm all like, you don't understand, officer. It wasn't just some crazy teen run me off the road. There's something out there. Some crazy, some crazy slug-like creature attacked me out there, officer. What? I swear to God. I'm not kidding. And, I, and I, I go into the preposterous ridiculous. story. I'm like, this thing was about four to five feet tall. It was, it was. It was it was literally going to attack me. It almost killed the kid. Luckily, you know, I did my civic duty and saved him. You know, like Leonard, like I think you hit your head harder than I hit mine. Well, like, I, I, I'm not talking crazy, kid. Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to see this thing. Well, the, yeah, I'm just going on and on and on about this. Officer like Nowak this. will listen to you during the scene. Why don't you make a roll of will because you're passionate about this? Mm -hmm. Questioning because you are indeed telling me a story and questioning uh, relates to that. And I'll give you a bonus D12 because you have diplomacy, which is a bonus D12 over any long negotiation or anything takes place over uh, uh, more than five minutes. Oh, that was a black. Two successes. <laughs> hey. Well, normally I'd dismiss everything you have to say out of hand, but Leonard, you know, because you should know better, but I'm sure they saw something that spooked them. I'll go ahead and send some of my men out to investigate. Let me go no, ahead. You need to turn out the National Guard or something like that. Call up the Army or something. I swear to God, man, these things were freaking enormous. Well, hmm. Okay, then. Let's go ahead and get you kids home, and the audience's respect for Leo goes up. You're up to level 10. Yeah, put in a Leo, great performance. You're, you're you're now tied with James. Look at that. Yeah, all right. So they'll go ahead and take you two home, but unfortunately you had a harrowing night that was mm -hmm. like way too exciting. So neither of you get to rest. Oh Flint, no. who did go home, you get to rest. So if you have anything that recharges on a rest, go ahead and recharge it. All right. I think hurt soak is just seen. Injury is the one that requires a rest. Uh, hurt, hurt recharges once per scene, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, injury recharges once per. Most importantly, your personality gift charges one recharges once per rest. Mm -hmm. But not for me. So you all go home uh, and go to school the next day because apparently this is another school night. We really should have done this uh, not on the. <laughs> As you're barely staying awake during class, in between classes, you're at your locker trying to process. Yeah, we're back at the locker scene. We get like the prop. Uh, we get the comedic prop. Like I pull a pillow out, and I'm just like, "Yeah, I'm gonna just sleep in the here for a little bit." And our, we have a continuity error. We have the bandage on the wrong side of your head. <laughs> Next, we're gonna have the boom mic just be on scene. Uh, yeah. One and once again, making Flint sad. You know, like uh, um. And you know, it can't be seen with him because he's just too much of a bad boy. Damn it. Everybody misunderstands me. And of course, while you guys are sitting there hanging out by the locker, uh, the principal will have to come by as our only other adult actor who said, yeah, I talk, I talk to the policeman because all adults always talk to each other in some part of phone network and ask me to check in on you boys to see if you were all right. I'm, I'm doing fine, sir. Just, uh... Uh, just still a little sore, I guess. Well, it's a concussion, so just red walk up. How many fingers, Mel? Uh, seven. Yeah, well, that's right. That's, that's only one or two off. You'll be fine. Margin of error. I learned that I in school. Don't deal with concussions outside the athletics department. <laughs> well, you don't even deal with them there. <laughs> you should really avoid getting into those automobile accidents. They'll hinder your chances to get into a good college. Well, at least I still got Guile's car now. <laughs> oh, mine's going to be in the shop for a month. Are you taking Guile's car back, says <laughs> Larry and Andy? We've been well, I mean, well, I mean, we can, we can take turns. We can share for a bit. I'm, mine's going to be out of commission, Larry. We need... totally share with you. You gave us the car in the first place. We'd do anything for you, Jimmy. You're our best friend. And you're my best friend, too. Slow turn to flame. <laughs> I know I can trust you too. And Flint just looks all aghast. Flint has no friends. So Flint, what are you gonna do with this uh, touching scene to reinforce or separate yourself out? You're a bad boy on the rough with everyone. So what am I, chop liver? Push. Well, I didn't oh, see no, you around like a... when Guile came for me. 
It looks like a confrontation between Flint and James. Flint, uh, what would you like to do to win this scene and win the audience's sympathy? Ah, jeez. I gotta lean entirely on, like, mind or will here, regardless of what I say. I'm still right, going so, to try to, like, so, build up the Flint's pathos. The, yeah, Flint's the aggressor, so what skill would you like to use, Flint? Uh, presence, I believe, is your best one, right? Yes. Although okay. I could leave a fighting, but I think that would lower our audience's opinion of me, so let's go with presence. Yeah, you could start right, a fight you, if you want. So you'll go ahead and say something, well, James, how would you counter this? Uh, I'm going to, uh, counter it by not throwing a punch back at him. I'm going so to be dodging gonna, the whole time. He's going to use presence to go ahead and try to intimidate you and oh, okay. uh, and yell at, and, and throw it and basically do a big scene. Don't roll any dice yet. Don't roll any dice. Don't roll mm -hmm. any dice. Uh, James, how would you respond to this? Uh, as he's intimidating me, I'm going to try my best to stand up for myself. Make that a proud moment. So what skill would you use? <laughs> Probably presence, but I don't have it. Well, you could pick a different skill. Um, if it starts into a fight, I could try to play the entire scene up on my physical ability to dodge people. It's not going into it's a fight. It's not going to, you, though. You That's the no thing. Other skills I have no it. other skills. It turns out Sparrow and Lucky only combo <laughs> being okay, a physical well, performer. I want both, then I want both of you to roll Will in Presence. I was going to give you a chance to throw in one of your better skills, but apparently all you know how to do is drive and sing. I can craft... I could have a mechanic scene. <laughs> uh, this is where picking the career will be really important, but I got motorists. I, I also thought that was hilarious, that you're the best motorist and you crashed two cars already. Exactly, I'm going to crash more of them, so I'm going to roll the one die. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could well, ask for like a D8 for like, yeah, we just had a cool scene, and I'm trying to build on that, but... Uh... But then he would so get to roll that, so don't worry exactly. about it. Well, well, he totally destroyed you. Um, uh, since his uh, opinion die is maxed out at D12, I'm going to have to lower yours to a D8. Okay. So Ooh. so we're having the scene, and I kind of go like, well, where, where were you when Gaia was coming after me? What, what's like your response that seals this? Listen, man. Anne just broke up with me. I can't be seen with her anymore. I don't know what to do with my life. Well, now actually, I'm going to keep James at D at 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 D10. I'll raise Flint to D14. Do D14. <laughs> uh, I actually have a D14 here. <laughs> Those are ultra rare. So, okay, so yeah, you have your big emotional scene with the two of you about uh, Leonard, I guess, is just left out of frame. Leonard's, that like, down be... the hall with, like, in the pair, in the uh, teacher's conference room, just shaking his head going, kids. Silly kids. <laughs> <laughs> Probably has, like, a whole, like, five-second scene of him sipping coffee, just like, I ain't getting involved. <laughs> and Anne's pointedly avoiding him. Well, that's the uh, end of uh, you guys go back to school. Uh, well, neither Rex nor Guile showed up today. <laughs> Man, I, I know why. he got in a wreck. Shouldn't he have been? Shouldn't someone have found him already? Well, but then no one contacted you. You're just a teenager. No one tells you anything. Exactly. I gotta so, find out myself. Now, after school, you've got some decisions to make. Do you want to go back and perform at the drugstore, or do you want to do something else? We gotta keep the band together, Flynn. Come on, yeah. I know you're on the outs with Anne. So we're gonna so find a find new girl and <laughs> to impress her with a song. So you guys go back to the malt shop. This is probably the point where Leonard would need to say something and go like, look, look people are getting killed, isn't this obvious? <laughs> yeah, what, what are you gonna say about this, Leonard? Yeah, actually, I'm I'm feeling a little bit unhinged after what happened last night. I'm like, are you two kids crazy? You guys want to play another fucking gig, and we got ran off the road. Giant slug creatures trying to eat us last night. Are you out of your freaking minds? Oh, you're serious. I am serious. <laughs> wow, but 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 Leonard, you get a ten percent take whenever they perform. I can't spend a ten percent take when I freaking die. Wow. 
So what are you guys going to do tonight? Uh, well, I mean, boss. yeah, boss, are you saying like you don't want us to go perform tonight? <laughs> I I'm like, I'm like, we need to go ch back and check out what happened out there. Like my car and everything. Oh, gosh. It's, wait, wait, that was my car. Yeah, that was what? actually his car. Okay, it was his car. Well, yeah, the car and everything. What, you forgot about the car, kid? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I sent someone out to get it towed. They're supposed to call me tomorrow well, really about it. The cops sent somebody to go get it towed because yeah, yeah, you yeah. were unconscious. Exactly, exactly. They said that they'll call me in a couple days. Um, no, they actually uh, called... Uh, um, oh, you actually did They would have towed you in the only garage in town, which is Buckley's Garage. You guys go to Buckley's Garage and get your car? Yeah, let's so go decide. and see how it is. All right, so um, you're, James is going to go to Buckley's Garage. Flint, are you going to go with him or are you going to do something else? I'll go with him. All right, and what about you, Leonard? I guess I have to tag along now. Okay, so you'll go to Buckley's Garage. Um, and yes, uh, uh, Buckley, who is a raccoon, because all mechanics are always raccoons. I mean, that's just common sense. Of course. Um, we'll say, yeah, uh, so yeah, the, the, the police towed your car here, and you can have it as soon as you uh, pay the towing fine. Uh, pay, right. Uh, uh, and I'm just going to push uh, Montgomery over. It's like, yeah, you got this, Montgomery, right? Yeah, but this is, uh, well, uh, if Monty wants to pay for it. Um, well, yeah, I'm sure. Because I'm just gonna yeah, take, yeah. I'm just gonna so take it out whatever whatever I'm paying them. Write the bad <laughs> check. You had some nasty damage, but fortunately your frame uh, fortunately your car is built in the nineteen forties, so it's made out of like military grade steel. Uh in a way that transfers the entire collision force to the passengers instead of crumpled <laughs> sides. Because that's why they don't make cars like this anymore. We just hose you off and sell it to the next guy. Uh, with the but patented yeah, but, new design of putting the gas tank on the front so when you collide, it explodes. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to fix the paint job. Because you can see here, I don't know what it is that you guys hit or whatever. But something went ahead and corroded all the paint. And uh, it was nasty stuff. Like some kind of like wow. gelatinous slime. See? See? I don't know. I mean, it's starting to look like maybe you have a point here, Leonard. but. Uh... I mean, Mr. Montgomery. Oh, sorry, I was always so casual. Uh, <laughs> but, but I don't know. It's just some paint, right? It, it maybe it just came off during the crash. Oh, it's just some paint, says Buckley. Don't worry about it. I cleaned all of it off and then poured it down the drain so it would enter the water table because it's the 1950s and I'd just do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there was a scene where just <laughs> circling the drain ominously. <laughs> it's all in the bill. Yeah, see, I guess it just washes all off, so I mean, uh... I mean, it corroded your paint, whatever it was, but it was weird. Yeah. Oh, and also there's this part, too, he says, when he goes and he turns off the light, and now the, all the stains glow in the dark. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's amazing. I gotta get more of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's no health risks whatsoever. Absolutely none. Pretty weird. Oh, well. <laughs> also, they brought the van in, too. It's got the same problem. Oh, they brought the van in. Hey. Yeah, see? Right over here. Hey, you talked with the police when this van came in. They didn't say anything about uh, Guile being anywhere around, did they? Nope. No? They didn't say anything to me, and I didn't ask. Uh, but yeah, I think this is uh, the Guile's kid. Most Specifically, his father's man, so his father's not going to be happy about it. Oh, man. When he finally wakes up from his drunken stupor as he neglects his children. You know, children are our future. <laughs> That's what people keep telling me. Well, I, but I don't think the future's going to be good at all, so I try to stop children whenever I can. Um, <laughs> no, more pointedly, uh, yeah. It's got the same thing, too. So whatever it is you guys are like driving around in, you probably should stop. Uh, that probably makes good sense. Well, at least I guess I could drive this home tonight. Uh, yeah. 
I can keep the other one. If, uh, if Leonard goes ahead and reconciles your bill, Leonard, uh, with this Which wipes out all the money you guys have earned performing. Come on, it's my car. It means everything to me. I'm straight up like, don't worry about it. I got to cover kids. You know, like you guys, are you guys are gonna be stars now. So you know, don't worry about it. Meanwhile, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just not gonna pay you guys. That's really <laughs> gonna happen. <laughs> okay, you get your car back. It has been, excuse me, it has been. Uh, uh, he has only repaired the engine damage. He hasn't repaired the cosmetic damage. Okay. Well, I'll just have to get some pain next week then. So, yeah, you get the car back, uh, armed with this knowledge that your car has going the dark slime on it. Uh, what do you do? Hmm. Well, Mr. Montgomery, well, what do you think? I mean, I, I still don't believe this crazy story about these slug things, but, I mean, the proof's right here, too. What do you think we should do? I mean, I heard um, you say that the army's coming in, but what are they gonna do? I, I go, I don't know. I go, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little too frazzled about all this, but uh, I guess you're right. I guess the show must go on. Maybe we just start playing music, you know? Maybe I just, <laughs> may, may, maybe this was just all a bad dream or something. Maybe it was just something in the soda pop. I don't know what you high school kids do nowadays or what's going on with what you got, but I'm never eating from your vending machine ever again. Maybe it's just. I don't know, but... Uh, well, you had to take the bus to get here, and your gig is, like, in 30 minutes. If you're going to get there now, you're going to have to rush. You're right. I'm going to have to drive fast. Uh, with are burning you passion drive? reprise. Driving fast is going to be a role of speed, observation, and transport. All right. Well, those are all things that I have a lot of. And a bonus D12, because you have a uh, automobile. All right. So let's see. Speed, observation, transport. I get an additional 2d6 there, and then the d12. I'm even better at going fast than I am going at a safe speed. 